Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so I'm very powerful. I can manifest stuff. And uh, two things I want to ask: How can I fine tune it? Because the other day I manifested a IRS audit. And I, I, I want to sift through contrast, and I want to, I, I feel this power. I can do stuff, but I want to uh, materialize, manifest more than uh, physical stuff. I want to do events and situations. And I knew I did all that. Uh, and I, I keep doing well, it. Here's the thing: it's not easy to hear our friend just now, and this too. It's not easy to hear or to accept when we say things are always working out for you. Because sometimes things happen that you just as soon hadn't worked out for you in that way. But if you come to know and really believe that things are working out for you, then you let the things that are working out for you be realized by you at more incremental and therefore more satisfying stages. Jerry and Esther were always sort of proud of the fact that they didn't get audited because they keep really clean and good books and they are very conservative in what they do and they don't take a lot of chances or really any and so it was sort of the mantra that Esther was really enjoying that I just don't get audited and then like you she did she got audited and it wasn't something that she thought that she'd been thinking about but clearly everything that comes to you comes because there's a vibrational connection of some kind but there was something about the inevitability of it. In other words, it's something that is happening. So you might as well just relax and go with the flow of it because you're not going to talk anybody out of it. This is something that's going to happen. And there is something kind of nice about being in a situation where you just give in to it. And here's what happened. Esther wrote the computer programs initially for her business. And she has a really unique way of keeping track of things that she understands completely. So there's nothing that happens that she doesn't understand. And she leaves a trail that anyone could follow because she's very precise about the trail that she leads. Stay with us, it's all right. So she always presented this very satisfying, I know what I'm doing and this is exactly right, set of information to her CPA, who then did whatever he did and she didn't understand any of that. So he took what she did, translated it into what he sent to the government and Esther didn't realize it until she was audited that she was always uneasy about that every single year. In fact, she would think, well, I know what I'm doing. I sure hope he knows what he's doing. I hope he's depicting it in the way that I mean for it to be depicted. So as the audit unfolded, all she got was compliments. Well, that's clear. Well, this is really a good way of doing that. Well, that's nice. So she not only learned that her process was a good one, but that his was too. And at the end of it, everyone was really good friends. It was not just something that took time. It did, but it was something that was really fun to do. There was no trepidation within it. Now, what we want to say to you is you can tune yourself to the clarity of your intentions in such a way that no matter how clean your books are if your intention is clean it will go well for you if you go in with confidence not trepidation and sincerity not rebelliousness how does your inner being feel about your auditor your inner being thinks it's a nice person just doing the job and when you feel that way, then you're in sync with your inner being. It's our promise to you that when you sync up with your inner being. So a good question for you to ask in these preparation stages is inner being. How do you feel about this? How do you feel about this? How do you feel about this? And what you're going to discover is it's going to be a clarifying process. That's going to give you information. And at the end of it all, you're going to be glad it happened. Not sorry. It was like that. It happened that way. Well, why don't you stop us before we wasted all this time? Because I want to We're fine tune. I want to fine tune yes. it. I, I, I know I did that and I've done a lot of other wonderful things, 
manifested people in my life, but I want to do more events. I talk to my inner being, but sometimes I'm not sure my inner being and I are communicating. I go, hey man, where are you? Make sure that you're calibrated before you start talking. Just make sure that you're calibrated. Make sure that you're calibrated when you ask the question and then put some time space distance between the question and the receiving the answer. And then when you are in a similar calibration, meaning high flying, that feeling of exhilaration or that feeling of satisfaction or that feeling of high on life kind of feeling, that's when those answers flow into your experience. Not when you're studying the problem and looking for the solution. In other words, distance between the question and the answer, time distance, but no distance in terms of the emotional or vibrational calibration. So get happy when you ask, get happy before you ask, and then in a happy moment, hear the answer. We find you very finely tuned. We don't know why you're questioning that, but it may be that you are trying to take score too soon or you're not putting enough distance between your question and your receiving of your answers. Because remember, the vibration of the question is a different frequency. When you calibrate to a question, you're calibrating to a lower vibration. And when you calibrate to an answer, you're calibrating to a higher vibration. So we haven't talked about this before. Let's consider this, but this is good. So something happens, let's call it a problem. And you want to know about it. So you're talking with some counselor about it maybe your inner being counselor maybe somebody else but you're focused on the problem and as you focus on the problem you're calibrating to that problem which means you're calibrating right out of range of the answer but you sort of got to do that to explain it but you know what happened oh ooh, ooh, we have not said this before we are so happy that you've asked this in this way just give us a minute everybody's having a good time here in all of that time that you're calibrating to the problem. You're launching rockets of desire that are calibrating to the solution. That's why they're rockets. They're not bowling balls. They're rockets. So your calibration to the problem caused you to launch rockets that are calibrated to the solution. And that's where your inner being picks up on them. That's where your inner being remains. And you've got to then put some distance between you're calibrating to the problem and you're being in the receptive mode of calibrating to the solution never heard that clear have you did you hear it yeah